So here we are out at uh, Narragunda and uh, we're on Gulf Creek Road replacing one of the uh, burnout timber bridges. So we had 18 timber bridges either destroyed and or damaged and it's really great that we're able to sort of get the progress on these back in action. Our goal is to have 12 done by Christmas and the other six done during 2021. So major job to rebuild that infrastructure. Yeah, so what we've done is we've looked at our structures and a lot of them were timber. I'm very happy to say that working with the New South Wales Government that we'll finish up with 14 concrete structures out of those 18, which will make our community much more resilient. Here we're using box culverts rather than a bridge structure. The beauty of those is that they come in precast units. And that makes the reconstruction a very fast process. So this bridge will be completely rebuilt in a five week turnaround period and therefore the community is less inconvenient. We can stand the back up much easier. Yeah, look, for getting the construction done, being a creek, um, no water in it is helping a, a lot. But um, yeah, no, so we're, we're going pretty well on schedule and the job's looking great. G'day, my name's Bill Corpanides, I'm from Civilex. Uh, we're looking after the uh, Comans Bridge uh, works out here. The site is excellent, like it is great working environment for the boys, getting the contractors from in the state has been really well received. Um, the locals have been real happy with the works progressing as well. So this bridge here is nearly finished. So the team here are uh, contractors and they're putting on the head wall on the downstream side today. By the middle of next week they'll have this fully gravelled and the road will be back in total use. At the moment as you can see we're actually allowing residents to gain access across the structure. Doing that in a careful way obviously with the crew working here. But that means that the bridge will be reopened and the project will be finished up middle next week.